say I have a problem. I am a lover of thrifting. I don't regret any of these purchases, okay? Most of them are thrifted and a lot of them have really cool stories to them. So don't judge me for my purse addiction. Let's start off with the one that I absolutely use the most. Yay, my jean purse! I think someone made these pockets out of like the back of jeans. This purse fits like four bottles of wine. Don't ask me why I know that. It just fits so much in it. And I can pack my whole life in here. Like if I'm gonna have a long day and I'm gonna bring my camera along with me to like vlog and I need to pack a lunch box and everything, it all fits in here, which is why I use it so much. You definitely need a purse that has a comfy strap that fits everything that you need for your long days for when you don't wanna wear a backpack and look like a student. It has the adjustable strap so I can make it shorter. I usually wear it on one side like this. When I feel like I'm carrying so much, I'll wear it like across the body like this. It brings me so much comfort. I don't know what I would do without it. Like feeling it against my hip is just comfort. Okay, second purse that I use all the time. It's really small, but it's also one of those purses that fits more than you think. This fits my vlogging camera, a snack. I'm always packing a snack. My lip gloss, my keys. I always have a pen with me, my wallet. I wear this one all the time and then it has an extra zipper compartment. That's always a plus. Cheese stick wrapper, another lip gloss. I have like extra earring backings. It's also just the perfect height to like put my hand on when I walk in the streets. I thrifted both the jean one and this one at Texas Thrift. My third most used purse, this leather bag. This one also fits a lot, but I will say it's a little bit like more uncomfy when I'm like reaching for things. I don't know if it's because this is just like closer to my armpit. This one does have a lot of compartments inside though, so I have like lots of room to put my lipsticks. I even have some, some tissues in here. Dreams, smiles, rainbows, and laughter tissues. So that when I use these, I'm manifesting my dreams, smiles, rainbows, and laughter, you know? This is the bottom of a bag, so it's like easy to set down anywhere, like when I'm going to a store and I'm in the dressing room, whatever, when you set down your bag. I just love this purse. So yeah, those three are my classic three go-to purses. Now I wanna show you the rest of my purses. My funky ones are the ones that I maybe use less often, but I still love them. Recently, I rediscovered this in the back of my closet and I was like, this one was just forgotten for no reason. It has so much space inside and it has that like, loungy look to it and it's such a good pop of color with like the neutral strap and like this khaki the suede is really nice for winter when i put it on i just want to be like it's just very 90s 2000s like loungy mother vibe this was my mom's actually and she gave it to me i've been using this one to go to acting class or like to go get a few groceries because i can fit it in this bag and like look i have a little notebook in here the only flaw of this purse is that it only has like a little magnet to close it so it doesn't have a zipper in it and i think that's why i wouldn't wear it as much but when you close the magnet and you have your arm over it it feels fine i don't know that's what i think i'm, I'm sure there's very slick pickpocketers out there this this mini leather purse, I haven't gotten to wear it that much. It reminds me of like a boat. The reason why I haven't worn it so much is because it's not good for like utility. I think I would just fit my phone, wallet, and keys in here. It's so cute for going out though. I should wear it more. Also got this one at Texas Thrift. It's just missing this zipper, so you kind of just have to swipe it. <laughs> this one, one of my fave staple purses. I won't take forever because I've already shown this in another thrift haul, but I believe someone made this out of boots. Very niche, it looks very handmade. It's so cool with this little strap. Thing about this one is that it only, it's literally hanging on by a thread. So you just have to be careful with this purse that your things don't fall out. But it's so snug, the strap is thick and comfortable. Let me tell you, it's such a conversation starter. Every time I wear this, people are like, where did you get that? Or like, did you make that? People know I'm super DIY, but I'm not that advanced to make something like this. I will be keeping this one forever for my future daughter to wear. This is my staple going out purse. Staple going out purse. The little C's on the side, like it just looks like it's super brand name, like it looks bougie. My mom actually got this for herself. It's Franco Sarto. I saw her wear it, I was obsessed, and then I stole it from her. I'm sorry, mom, but I swear I've made super good use out of it. This, ooh. Perfect for going out because it's so easy to like 
This magnetic button, everyone knows that it's so good. It comes in handy and it has an extra zipper inside. Okay, I cannot see anything. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Like, it's just, it's so cute. I also love that it just looks kind of vintage-y, like it's 2000. I can't back check that. I don't know when this is from, but it also has this little back pocket, which is, you know, perfect for when your acrylic nail falls off and you want to store it for later. This green purse. I think I got this at a Goodwill at home. I think I've only worn it once. It's so sad. It matches this outfit even right now too. I don't like to wear purses that are super, super rigid. And I think that's what's going on here. Like it's just not comfy for like taking things in and out. I love this color green if you haven't noticed. In my coat and jacket video, I think I have like three green jackets. And I think I have another green jacket that I have in Texas. And I also have three green purses. This one is a really nice tote bag for running errands or for like going on a picnic when you wanna store your lunchbox in the blanket and stuff. So I think it's probably just like Andy Warhol merch from like a museum or something. I don't know. It has like a little metallic strap, which is so worn out because I wear it and when I sweat, it gets all gross. <laughs> my favorite smell is the first smell of spring New York. Oh my gosh, I had never read it before. Flowers. 1964 New York City This one is so worn out and super gross I think I've only washed it like one time Wash the bags that you can wash I got this one on Etsy because originally I was gonna paint it and try and do some kind of giveaway that was the point in time where I ended up just taking a break from my YouTube channel because I got super overwhelmed with grad school and it was just too much so I didn't end up doing that giveaway idea that I had and so I just kept it <laughs> conveniently and I wore it so much. It was this point in time where I was so obsessed with wearing these red like windbreaker pants that I have and I was so obsessed with the combination of the yellow with the red that I would wear both of them together like every other day. This is another tote bag. This one is not very convenient. I just love how it looks. I guess it's not really a shoulder bag because it's pressing on my armpit. I actually have taken this to the grocery store. Look at the print on the inside. I love it. Little switch of location because the sun was hitting my eyes and I was about to start filming with sunglasses on. I couldn't take myself seriously. This bag is so cute. These are my two roommates from the last two years, Alexa and Asia, probably the only people who watch my videos on repeat so that I can get views. Alexa got all three of us these matching bags. I think you can go into Uniqlo and then send in whatever photo and they print it onto a tote bag for a super good price. I wanna go and make more of these. But yeah, I really love this one because I love this picture of us. This is us hosting in our apartment. This bag I got in Uvalde also. I've also shown it in another thrift haul. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you. But there's a bunch of underwears in here. <laughs> I think from when I moved. I guess I haven't used this bag since I moved into this apartment. So I used it as a way to transport my undies. No wonder I thought I was missing some. Anyway, I love all the sequence details on this bag. If you watched my Jack and Coat collection video, I got this at the same warehouse where I got the orange coat that I was so excited about. And I have this coach purse that is thrifted as well. Even though it's a little bit worn out, like it's still a good purse because good quality purses, they really last. Also, coach has been popping off lately. I love all of their branding that they've been doing and all of their new styles of their purses. I went to the outlet on Black Friday and <gasps> All the purses are so cute. I love all of like the curved ones. They're so, so beautiful. And I know eventually I will get myself one. I have this very, I just bumped into the wall. 2000s purse. It feels very like DIY, like recycle. It almost feels like, it feels like very plasticky. So it's not like it's super good material. It does feel like a little bit cheapy, but I kind of love that about it. It's very Ashley Tisdale on the red carpet. Oh. What? I've never seen this side zipper. Look at this. What? Oh, it has like no space in it. I guess I could put some coins in there, but I like that it's super interesting, but it's neutral colors. So it's easy to style. Like I could wear this right now that I'm wearing neutral colors. Then I have this Fry bag. That's a brand. I only know about it because my mom really loves that brand. And it's a really, really nice leather purse.
Yeah, that's the logo. I don't know if you've heard of it before, but my mom loves this brand and so now I love this brand too. This purse! <gasps> I've shown it in another thrift haul also. I thrifted it super recently, so I haven't gotten to wear it. But I know that this would look so cute for when someday someone invites me to some important event and I wear a super long gold dress. Maybe like a little square neckline like this. I don't know, that's how I picture myself with this. Select hair. This has a little like snap opening. Then I have this purse. I've also shown this in another thrift haul. Super funky. This is from the 60s. My favorite part about it is this button snap. I love it. Then I have this one. I actually have gotten to wear this. I love the little buckle straps and like the soft material. It's very 70s. This also just fits so much in it. It's one of those where I'm like, I can take my camera. I can even fit like my bottle of water on the side. It also has these like two extra pockets in the front. Oh, I love these like little stud details. Here's a brand name purse and it's reversible. It's kind of difficult to reverse it, but the other side is nude. A nice neutral that just goes with everything. But also I just love that like I have no idea what this print is. Like, can you tell me what this is? Roses? Abstract roses, maybe? I just started a new job and I have to take my laptop most days, so this is the kind of big girl purse that I can take and actually fit all of my stuff in there, including my laptop. Since I'm in that transition and I look like a child, like I don't want to look like a college student, I want to look a little bit more professional. So I feel like this is going to be a really good work purse. Last but not least, my favorite big girl purse. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Oh, I didn't even show it correctly. This is also Kate Spade. My boyfriend's parents got me this for my undergrad graduation as like a, here's your big girl purse, like welcome to the big girl world. And I love it. I've gotten to actually wear it way more often now that I'm working because I thought I was gonna be working, but then I ended up going to grad school. So that kind of paused my big girl era. This is one of the nicest purses that I've ever owned. The best part about it is that it has the laptop compartment in here. So it has this zipper compartment to work. I'll take my laptop and my iPad and then up here you can put everything else. So I'll put like a snack once again. The other day I brought some cakesters. Okay, now I actually have to get ready for work. Very sad. <laughs> And I have to pack up this baby, so thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel with notifications on and help us out by liking this video. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day or night by watching my videos, obviously. Bye!